case or fiberglass windows. What's up guys, I'm Matt Reisinger. And I'm Travis Brungart. Now the build show today, we are on Travis's job site. This is one of the last windows for you to say, right Travis? We're almost done. This is a full fiberglass window package over here. This is actually Interlux windows. But in the build show today, we're gonna review this window. We're also really gonna tell you some benefits of fiberglass specifically, whether you buy Interlux or some other fiberglass manufacturer. And we've got a particularly cool install going on this job site, Travis. You ready? I'm ready, let's do it. Today's build show is sponsored by Interlux. Let's get going. All right, Travis, fiberglass and why fiberglass? Let's jump in here. And by the way, Travis and I have both been building coming up on 30 years for me. So I'm there. over our 60 years, I've literally put in just about every manufacturer's product I started with all vinyl when I was in my production builder days. Yeah. The last 20 years as I've been custom building, I kind of throw the baby out on that material, to be totally honest. I've not installed one in 20 years. But fiberglass compared to, let's say, wood mm -hmm. or another composite material, what is it about fiberglass that we like particularly? Well, it's a couple of things. For us, it starts with strength. You know, mm -hmm. as an electrician, I spend a lot of time on a ladder. And uh, I trust my life to the support that I get yeah. out of fiberglass day in and day out. Yep. So you know you got a lot of strength with it. It's very stable. We're not looking at a lot of movement. Yep. Uh, and then that really ties into the assembly as a whole. You know, mm -hmm. building science side of things for us, we're always looking at assemblies and all your problems are at transitions. So if I transition from one material to another, that's a risk. We could have differential movement. A right. seal could separate. We don't want that in a window, that's but right. I've got glass framed with fiberglass, it's the same material. They're not gonna move at different rates. So they're gonna expand and contract Very at the similar. same rates. Yeah. And I don't see glass expanding and contracting a whole <laughs> lot on my jobs, do you? No, sir. <laughs> you know, another uh, note, as we're thinking about that fiberglass ladder on the job site, you're an electrician. Yeah. If that ladder were to somehow fall on an electrical line, you wouldn't get electrocuted. Right. Because the fiberglass is non-conductive. Yeah which also makes a lot of sense when we think about a window frame because we don't want that heat or maybe cold in the wintertime to conduct into the house as well, right? Of Travis? course, yeah, that's the beauty of it. So it makes a lot of sense as a building material and specifically a window frame material. Another thing that I wanna talk about, Travis, is construction of fiberglass. So, mm -hmm. you know, when we think about wood windows, we could maybe glue that wood together. Yeah. We think about a lot of screws right, or, mechanical, or fasteners. mechanical fasteners. But when we think about fiberglass, what is it about fiberglass and how specifically are we gonna join that material? Different manufacturers do it different ways. We're talking about uh, complex assemblies usually. Sometimes you have things that lap or interlock, yep. but in order to keep things, as a trim carpenter as well, keeping things tight yep. is, that's what the client sees. Yeah. And it's not just about what's visually great, it's the performance aspect of it. If that joint stays closed and nothing gets into it, now you've got good performance. Yeah. So that assembly, on this, I was shocked at how this is put together, it's pretty cool. Yeah, so check this out. I don't know if other manufacturers are doing this, but this is specific to Interlux and this is really cool. What you're seeing here is a corner sample. So the, the main kind of length or body of the fiberglass is a big stick, right? And when they miter that and put these two corners together, this rail and this rail come together, we got a nice tight miter, but there's no screws on the backside. There's no glue per se. What they do, Travis, is they drill a hole in the frame mm -hmm. and they fill this entire corner with a oh, urethane. Yeah. It kind of, to me, looks like a two-part epoxy, but it's, right? it's slightly different chemistry than that. It's a urethane, more akin to like a, um, a super crazy closed cell foam in some respects uh, in this corner. And if you could feel the feel the weight of that thing. Oh, that's like a pound. It feels pound like a corner. lot of material. Yeah, there's some heft to that. So what that's doing now is it's gluing that entire corner together. It's making sure that miter is never gonna come apart. It's also making sure there's no air or water that could make it into that assembly as well. Yeah, it's a very robust assembly to be sure. And what I really like about it is if you can view across that, look how flush that yeah. is. So we don't have, when you have like a, a metal piece of hardware behind that you have to match screws and fasteners into, you can have a little bit of uh, deformation. You yeah. know, as you pull that screw tight on this side, it can pull this side over and you can get that joint a little bit out. This is dead flush, dead flat. It's really robust. Yeah, I like that. Now, I don't think that if you're considering fiberglass, you're probably considering vinyl as well. <laughs> but maybe you're moving up, right? Every builder's got to start somewhere. Yeah. One really nice thing about fiberglass that is a much stronger material 
which means that you can get a much thinner frame profile. If you look at some of these Interlux windows that have been installed already, we had a big builder meeting out here yesterday and one of the builders said, hey, those windows look like steel windows. What is that material? Yeah. Because they've got that real thin frame because that fiberglass is a naturally very strong material. And especially as you get into bigger windows, if you're not building out of fiberglass, you think a lot of times about big chunky frames and that's not the case here, I like that. No, we're getting really good performance out of a really narrow profile, and that gives the client what they want, which is the big view of light. That's why we put the windows in after all. Yeah, that's right. Now, Travis, you're really known for doing super high efficiency. Uh, you know, you look at this house behind me, you'll have to check out his other videos. This is a bomber house. But you didn't do the standard double glaze, you actually no. upgraded to triple glaze, right? 100%, man, we've found that we, we're building such as you pointed out, high performance wall assemblies yeah. that we're delivering super high R values and great comfort to our clients. But if you if you cut short on the what would be the worst R value in a wall assembly, that's the window. That's where your client's going to feel that discomfort. And that's yeah. where your complaints coming. Yeah. Now, here's something about Interlux specifically that I think is really interesting. This is a, a corner section from kind of a standard double glazed window, which would meet code in pretty much every market in America. Interlux does something a little bit differently. They take a much thicker, a 3.9 millimeter glass. And if you look at these two up close, you can tell it's quite a bit thicker yeah. uh, glass for their double glaze. And not only that, they put a fatter spacer in there. So I think you're gonna get much better sound performance out of a window like this compared to some of the competitors that are kind of using standard glass. But back to that triple glaze real quick mm -hmm. and fiberglass before we actually go in and show you those numbers. Another analogy on fiberglass that I really like, Travis, that, that uh, really speaks to me is, uh, you know, when you think about boats mm. and something that's gonna be in the water for its lifetime, a lot of boats are made out of fiberglass because that fiberglass is totally impervious. There's nothing that we're worried about in terms of water soaking up. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not soaking up any water. So these windows, like, you've got pretty good cover on this house, but like yeah. that tall window is probably gonna There's get- exposure. It's gonna get some exposure. And now we're not worried about cladding it, right? If we had a wood material, we're always worried about, hey, what's the cladding on that, on that window to make sure it's protected from the elements? This is fiberglass through and through, through because and through. we're not worried about that water. Yeah, and you get a tremendous amount of stability with that as well. You know, again, it's that differential movement. If I've got wood inside and I got to wrap the outside with something that's more robust, that's an opportunity for things to move differently and a potential failure down the road. So all fiberglass all the way through, that negates that risk. Yeah, for sure. Now, have you used Enerlux before this install? I have not. Uh, I'm sure you know this about me, Matt. We talk a lot uh, about trying to do what we can with our local manufacturers. Mm -hmm. that, that gives us some flexibility. If there ever was a problem, I can call somebody, I can go get it. Yep. All that stuff, you see that on our projects all the time. Uh, when we were researching windows for this project, we were really pretty excited to discover that just up north of us in Crete, Nebraska, just outside of Lincoln, Nebraska. That's where Interlux makes their product. And so uh, I mean, we even had guys from the plant come down, show off their stuff to us. It was a really nice hand in glove for us where we're, we're supporting local and we're getting a really great product that frankly, I was shocked that we were getting domestically produced performance on this level. So it was an easy choice. That's pretty cool. Speaking of performance, let's actually jump inside real quick and let's look at a couple details inside and let's see what the window sticker has to tell us about the performance of this window. We'll, we'll see you inside. It. Travis, we mentioned outside how one of the builders specifically said, man, those frames are nice and thin. Yeah. And I think it was this picture window that he was like, man, those look like steel windows to me. It really is that narrow profile, like an inch and a half. That's pretty thin. But what I wanted to talk about when we jump in here is the window sticker. I've talked about this a bunch over the years, but these window stickers are a little hard to understand for builders out there and certainly for homeowners. Oh. Like, I have no idea what that means. It's a lot of numbers. <laughs> so let's translate. You know, this U factor uh, that's on here is an overall, the glass, the frame, it's meant to, to say how, how much insulation basically does this window provide? Sure, what's its performance? And I, I like to teach people the numbers on this because I think it makes a lot of sense. So before we do this window, Let's talk code real quick. Do you know what code U factor is here for this area? Oh, I don't. We build so far above code, I never watch. It's, it's probably <laughs> 0.32 okay. would be my guess. Yeah. So if you do the math on your calculator, 1 divided by 0.32 is 3.125. That's the overall R value to meet code for a window in this climate. And that's actually code for my climate as well. So in other words, this U factor on here 
is the is basically needs to be divided by one and that's how you get the r value and i like to talk r value because people understand that right yeah you know, i've got an r13 bat or i've got an r21 bat we get a sense for uh insulation so this is kind of a side note, but what are your what's your rough R value your walls on this house? Uh, we are 22.6 above grade. We are 26.8 uh, for our walkout condition. And that's not just the bats in there. That's no, no, a, no. That's a whole Effective wall value. value. This is actually a SIPS project up, and then he's got zip R down with, with some rock wool. So these are really big R values. So my point here is if we were to put a code built <laughs> window or a window that meets yeah. code in here, which Chintzy. you could do, right? Right. It's going to be a a bit of a difference of frankly a stark difference between the walls and the windows in terms of how much heat resistance is coming through the walls yeah so travis being a high performance builder said to enderlux hey i actually want to upgrade to your triple glazed window right. and let's do the math on this sticker so this is a picture window typically picture windows are going to be the best That's insulation cool. value you're going to be a slightly higher number on an operable but this one says 0.14 so the math on here in my calculator is one divided by 0.14. That's on our 7.14 window. I'm not so much interested in the absolute R value as I am to say relative to a double glazed double. window or a code built window. This window that Travis installed by Interlux is twice as good, twice as insulative. It's going to hold back twice as many BTUs of cold getting into my house or really my BTUs leaving the house, right? right? Which I think is really interesting, not necessarily in how much am I gonna pay back over, over time mm -hmm. in terms of energy saved, but I can tell you when your client's sitting here- It's the comfort. When it's 10 degrees outside, this window is not gonna pull the heat off your body like a double glazed window would. And I think that's a so big important. advantage to Interlox because the, it wasn't much of an upcharge to go to these, was it? No, uh, I know a lot of times when we have this conversation historically with clients, we're like, well, we'd really like to do triple glaze. And you know, clients, they're, they're watching the budget. Yeah. We have historically watched them shrink back from the table when we right. say triple glaze because they're thinking triple price. Right, or double price. Right, and that's not even close to what this was. It was like a 15% increase to go yeah. with the triple glaze glass. Yeah. And especially here in the great room where this wall is mostly glass. Yeah. Money well spent. Money well spent, for sure. And for a 15% upcharge, no brainer. We haven't really talked cost. It's always hard to talk exact cost, but relatively speaking, this is a very affordable window, Definitely. really high performance, and not much more to go to triple glaze. Yeah, and after the cost factor and the appearance, the other thing that my client was kind of wowed by, can I show you? There's one other thing they were really excited about. What do you about. got? Yeah. So what I don't know it? if you've seen this before. This was the first time I've seen this. So you noticed in the, the very no, narrow profile, there's a small groove. That's what receives the screen. What Interlux provides us with their screen is this flexi screen product. Oh, I've seen this at Have the Builder Show before. I've never I've seen never one seen in, it in the field before though. But it's like, it's a spring steel frame. It's super narrow. Oh man. The screen product is adhered to it directly. And this is the only screen that can fit into this window, but I'm sure you've dealt with those screen frames, big aluminum extrusion yeah, with a yeah. metal clip oh, that snaps stink. down and they I break. I do not like and, them. And if you've ever had to clean windows, I can't imagine an easier system than pull it, fold it away, and then just set it right back in. It's so a really there's nice There's basically system. like a U-channel in there that it fits in, and you just flex it in and drop it in. That's pretty sweet. Super durable. Uh, but still, they offer a lifetime guarantee on that. Lifetime guarantee? Lifetime wow. guarantee on the screens. Now, you got to pay them for the shipping. If you really had a dog, you know, chew, chew through one or tear it up with claws, uh, just reach out to them. I think they said it was about 13 bucks shipping for a new screen. It's not but the screen all. is covered. So That's pretty cool. It's a fantastic product. We were really, the lady of the house is very excited when we showed her the screen. <laughs> uh, and I was excited, too, because I'd never seen it before. Impressive. Guys, I think that's it. I think we made a pretty dang good case for fiberglass and specifically some really impressive features about these Interlux windows. We still got two or three windows to set. Let's do it. We got to wrap this video up. How can people <laughs> learn more about Interlux, Travis? Well, I would recommend they go to interluxwindows.com. And if we can get them to that site, they can find a distributor in their area if they want to get pricing and get shipping there. But they can sell to you direct. I mean, that's, we were able to get direct from them. So uh, they can learn more about the window performance and the different offerings there, as well as how to get the yeah. product to them. And this is a smallish company, meaning you get great service for them. They're not yeah. some giant that you're not going to talk to a real person. 
really good people. Big thanks to Analux for sponsoring today's video. And thank you for opening up your gorgeous job site to me. I appreciate the help, Matt. If you guys don't know Travis, Travis Brungart, vid builder, remodeler. He's actually a licensed mechanical and electrical contractor here in Kansas City. He's been shooting on the Build Show Network for two years now. He's got amazing content out there. And he's actually doing a whole series that I've been in some of the videos about this house as well. Yeah. You can watch all that on thebuildshow.com. And of course you can follow him on Instagram at Catalyst Build, right? You got it, Matt. Thanks so much for the plug. All right, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We've got new content here every Tuesday and every Friday. Follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on the Build Show. Show.